What's good and good morning. So I've been keeping tabs on this whole situation with the LRUI Goku, uh, you know, information not being displayed correctly on the global side of the New Year's Step Up banner. And there has been a couple of developments. Again, I wanted to cover this uh, once I found out additional info or more info about the situation and just kind of provide my input. So I think it's you know, honestly developed enough to this point where I, you know, I can, I can at least provide my input or, uh, you know, feedback as to the situation and, and kind of give you, you know, my insight as to, you know, how directionally things should go and, and what Bandai should do to fix the situation. So just starting off, uh, you know, there was a notice in game where the uh, New Year Dokkan Festival, which is the step up banner being temporarily closed, as you can see, uh, the New Year Dokkan Festival has been temporarily temporarily closed as of uh, January 4th, which is Monday, due to unexpected circumstances. We obviously know what that circumstance is at this point. Uh, we're currently investigating the matter, and we'll update this announcement with more information once it becomes available. We hope you continue to enjoy playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So, that in itself, the, the fact that they shut this down temporarily should signify a lot of things here. And um, I, I do feel like at this point, uh, just to get it out of the way, I feel like, you know, global players certainly deserve, I think, at, at the very least, a refund. Um, you know, this whole gets into the situation of stuff that's happened in the past in JP, and we'll talk about it here in a second. But, yeah, this is one of those situations where... Um, yeah, we really do need to kind of uh, seriously expect something from them at this point. I think a lot of information has surfaced the past couple of days where, yeah, it's a little bit important to, to really um, talk about it. So, you know, before we kind of go into the more details, I did throw in a pop quiz, so I guess I should at least throw this in. Uh, shout out to um, Cedric for getting the uh, right answer. It was, in fact, the uh, strength. Super Gogeta and, and, and Janemba that were the uh, first Dokkan Fest or anniversary units to be introduced to the game. So shout out to you on that. I think for the pop quiz here, we'll kind of keep it in line. This will be a little bit of a, a history lesson for those that are unaware too. So uh, what were the two instances on the JP side where a refund was a full refund was given out for all the stones used? What banner was that and why? And also the uh, 300 stone compensation that was given out for JP. What was the banner and what was the issue there? So... Uh, if you know the answer, go ahead and put that in the comment section. I think it actually works uh, this time around because, you know, it, it, it's it's definitely similar in terms of, like, situations potentially with the, uh, sorry, I had my uh, alarm clock going off. It's a little bit early in the day. But uh, anyways, yeah, those two instances on JP certainly do have some sort of relation to the current situation on Global. So if you know the answer to that, go ahead and answer uh, in the comments. And, you know, that way, for those that are unaware, they might actually learn something, too. So again, the whole issue started off by, you know, obviously LRUI Goku is the, uh, the suspect in question here, but uh, I, I guess based on the tweet or uh, Reddit post, Global forgot to include LRUI Goku even though he's advertising the, in the news. Game does not list him, but only in the final step. So basically, if we go over here on the update uh, on a separate thread, it's basically stating that, you know, uh, for Global, the older LRs are not on the step up banner at all, only the ones in the guaranteed slot. Uh, check the summon rates. There is one exception to this. Tech LR Goku is in the general pool, but not in the guaranteed slot. Along with this, there is one unit in the guaranteed slot, but not in the general pool. He doesn't need an introduction at this point. We obviously know who the unit is that they're referring to here. So I, I think the hypothesis here, or theory, is basically uh, they think the two units got mixed up here. And, and a lot of it's due to the, uh, the release schedules for Global being a little bit more unique than you know, JP has. So that could certainly be uh, one of the reasons as to why this glitched up potentially. But either way, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's a situation for sure. And I think it's, it's uh, messy enough to where they do have to provide some sort of, of compensation for this. So I guess like a day ago, Global Dok on Twitter disabled replies on their post. You know, I'm guessing, you know, like they said here, enough uh, traffic had been generated to where people, you know, they, they definitely took notice on this. I think a lot of people talked about it enough, especially other YouTubers doing videos, you know, post on Twitter, Reddit, uh, whatever, the, <clears throat> whatever the case is. So a lot of, you know, word has been spreading like wildfire. So, you know, they are making the um, uh, adjustments for it. Obviously, they made an official post where the, the banner itself was taken down temporarily. So that should really suggest how serious the situation actually is. Um, 
again, I'm not trying to like over blow it out of proportion or anything, but I, I still feel like, um, you know, what's wrong is wrong, you know, and, and I'm kind of referring to the JP issues here in the next two tabs just to kind of give you insight as to like the similarities, but um, the 300 stone issue was basically the Kepler banner, how it's stating here. Basically, there was some sort of glitch in the system where you looked at kind of the information and some people actually had like a 0% chance of pulling the uh, the new Kefla on the banner when it first came out. So uh, even though it wasn't necessarily the case, I think they came out with <clears throat> an official like post or something after, you know, a few days talking about explaining the, uh, the, the, the glitch or error, right? So either way, that was really the reason as to why the 300 stones were just immediately given out. It wasn't related to uh, a certain amount of stones that players used or anything it was flat out 300 that was just you know given out um in in good faith i guess quote unquote but uh that's certainly what happened there now this could really be similar to the current global situation where um first of all glitch and error is definitely occurring and number two the information wasn't necessarily uh, shown correctly as as advertised I guess in a way right yeah I mean you could easily read the stuff and potentially catch things but that shouldn't really be our obligation to do that you know they should be able to advertise and, and display the information correctly without you know any sort of confusion but that's just you know the the way I look at it you know everything should be listed out in a in a layman's term uh, format and now this is a separate issue that occurred on JP now this is basically uh, the a separate issue where it featured <clears throat> the TUR art on uh, I think it's Super Saiyan 3 Broly instead of the SSR art on the banner like you know uh, art itself right um, and basically because of that that was technically considered false advertisement so they did give out full refunds on JP uh, looks like this was you know back in like uh, December 28th of uh, 2017 I think if I'm not mistaken but it was it was around that time maybe 16, but either way, that was given out. Full refunds were given out because of uh, Broly's art simply being the TUR instead of the SSR, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So again, because of that, they did give out full refunds. Now, I brought in these two examples because, you know, it, it, it kind of really does suggest that Global might actually have a chance here to potentially get either refunds or uh, compensation. I mean, I personally think global should at this point and it's serious enough to where they closed it down temporarily so they have to come out with some sort of you know compensation at a minimum i really hope they don't do the typical global you know dokkan thing of giving out seven stones as compensation I, I think it's a little bit a little bit more serious than that at this point so hopefully you know things kind of really get corrected here i you know i'm a jp main and i've always played jp but I got nothing, nothing for love, nothing but love for uh, global players. So you know, I, injustice is injustice to me. So if you guys really feel like, you know, this is something that uh, was was unjustly done, then you know, I'm all bored. You know, uh, as long as you guys have like the right logic and and you know uh, cases against it, and you know, based on what I'm reading, it seems like it is to, it is to be the case here. So hopefully, you know, you guys do get some sort of refund and. Um, you know, stone compensation out of that. So I guess I'll go ahead and close out here just by, you know, summarizing um, that. Yeah, I, I, I think um, at this point there should be some sort of refund or compensation for uh, global players. So that's my opinion. And uh, that's, you know, honestly, that's just an opinion of one person, which is myself. So don't take that as, you know, anything else outside of just one person's opinion. You know what I mean? But with that being said, you know, I, I think there should be some sort of some level of compensation or refunds, dude. So we'll go ahead and close out here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and, and uh, found it helpful and, and learned some new info. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and close out here. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. All right. Peace out.